So we got Neil down here today. How you doing, my friend? Pretty good. You Tired. Look, you look busy today. Yep. And you just lugged in. I just a got big giant PV amp. Triumph 60, 60 watts, 6L6 tube. I like to think of it. I'm sure some people won't agree, but I think it's, I think of it as like a butcher, but it's a combo. Is it a tube amp? It is a tube amp. Nice. I've never seen one of these. And what you'll notice is. Okay. It's got a big mammal jambo in there. Yeah. A 190 or 200 millimeter speaker. It's got a and giant a, speaker in there. And it weighs a ton. Okay. So. What I thought was, we'd put in a Jensen, 12-inch, uh, it's a 100-rated speaker. This is a Neodymia magnet. This is part of their Tornado Classic. Uh-huh. Um, and they have a Stealth one, but I think the only difference is the Stealth has a little bell on the end of it, so it looks, but this is fantastic. So it's going to knock this heavy thing down to about half the weight, huh? I don't know. Uh, from what I've heard, these cabinets are very um, robust. Yeah, they definitely are. They were, they were made, uh -huh. these things are made to be heard, and what's inside of them and to is be meant very to be protected. Durable. Yep. Yeah. So, another project. Okay, well first, I guess what we're going to need to do is, let me play through this thing real quick so yep. we can see what it sounds like. Yeah. Have this, you had it plugged in yet? Yes, I tried it when I was before I picked it up, and it's it's really cool. It's loud. It's 60 watts tube. It's got you can see it's got two uh, 6L6s. There's a 12AX7 phase inverter, a 12AT7 for the spring reverb. And, Big old tank down yep, there. And then it's got three uh, preamp eight, uh, 12AX7s. Okay, let's plug it in. All right. So keeping with the spirit of PV, I'll play my T60 a little bit. So when the light's on, you're on clean. Nope, here you go. Right there. That our master volume. No, that's the clean. That's the clean gain. There's no master volume. Uh, bright is engaged right now. We'll take the bright out. Tons of reverb. Yeah, the EQ is shared among all the three channels, so you got clean, lead, and, uh, well, crunch, and ultra. So... Give me the crunch. All right. That sounds good, man. Yeah. Here's the ultra. That'll definitely keep up with the drummer. All right. So um, you're gonna change the speaker out. Yeah. And this is the speaker that we will be re installing. So. Awesome. Let's go for it. All right. So I'm just gonna pull this speaker out and put the new one in. 
and we'll weigh them and see how how much how different they are. Okay. Oh, hold on. Fun, fun stuff, Neil. I'm going to put new Tolex. I hate the Tolex on these old TVs. Yeah, and it's kind of a pain too because you end up getting dirt and dust and stuff and you just got to, you got to really scrub it with a tool. I'll tell you what though, brush. they were thinking about durability and these, when it comes to durability, it, it, these are the king. Of when durability. I was in the army, I could think of a couple things I would have, wouldn't have mind having some of the equipment encased in this stuff. Like what, and, your cot? Yeah, anything to do with waterproof. But uh, boats. this is front mounted, and so the ba the baffle is hard mounted into the uh, chassis here, into the uh, the combo uh, case. But oh, so this will come out the front. Yeah, it comes out the front, and it'll have. We'll, we'll, we can turn it around. Um, but it has these uh, Velcro. It's like a really stiff Velcro. All right, I'm quick with the vacuum, Neil. That is a big speaker. Yeah, that'd be a what biggie. What do you say the speaker is again that's in here? I think it, it's supposed to be a Sheffield, I think. I just remember what they used to have, like a Scorpion. The Scorpion, a Black yeah. Black Widow. Those certainly sound cooler, right? I don't know. I just remember uh, back in the day, I kind of think that PV... It doesn't really necessarily have a bad rip. You want to lay it on its back now? So it doesn't just fall out of there? Or I can, here. I'll hold it. I'll hold it and you pull it off. Okay. But I kind of think that PV kind of has a bad reputation because we were overexposed to these amps uh, here in, in America. This is a Made in America amp, Made in America amp, and everybody and their sister had a PV amp. And then once in a while I would see, you know, bands from England, like The Cure. The Cure used to play through PV amps. Oh yeah, she got some weight too. <laughs> but I just think the reason that PV doesn't do so good in America anymore is because just everybody had one and we wanted to have amplifiers that were made in England but some of those English cats they wanted amplifiers that were made in America okay so we're gonna get our scale let's see if we can do this we have okay. a fish scale now this is one heavy fish I just tied it around here it might actually fall but if it falls, it'll be right here on my bench. Here we, let's see, what's it say? 16.4. 16 pounds, 4 ounces. Okay. Okay, here we go. 4 pounds, 1, one ounce. ounce. So it's a difference of 12 pounds. Okay, so you can see even though there's a 12 pound difference, they're pretty much the same dimensions as far as diameter and uh, depth it's just that big old magnet neodymium yeah. magnet giant, giant thing lots of aluminum uh, but again these these were and nothing wrong American with the speaker great stuff yeah nothing wrong with the speaker I think it sounds great I just think uh, but it's heavier than a bowling ball yeah, I don't, I don't bowl with a 16-pound no, six, ball. You don't? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I have enough shoulder issues. That's good. Okay. Get them all in first and then snug them down. Okay. Super easy. Got to make sure they're nice and tight so it doesn't rattle. Yeah. I had an Ampeg B112 
bass amp and after years and years of playing that amp I thought that I blew the speaker out and all I had to do was tighten the screws and, and it fixed the problem because it started rattling. So it's always a good idea to tighten the screws that are holding that speaker in there. See, in the Army when we worked on the Blackhawk there's an engine fairing and there's there's literally a hundred screws that hold that fairing on. Right. And if you tightened, you had to barely put them all in. And then once you got them all in, you just had to go around and gradually just hit one here, hit one there. And eventually you'd get them all nice and snug and the fairing would be on good. And when you do the crisscross pattern, we had to do that on the, uh, on it when you worked on the rotor head and stuff so it's pretty good oh, hold on a, a lot of army stories huh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. you just got a lot of army stories you were in the uh you're in the army airborne no i was i worked on blackhawk helicopters that sounds fun it was oh wait a minute got hold to on. fly around in them Yep. Did you ever fall out of one? No. Didn't fall out accidentally bang your head on something? I hit my head on a couple things, but right. not, not like that. Okay, so let's put this back panel on. No, you, you had it right the first time. Did I? Yeah, and it, it's, it goes all the way up. Oh, okay. I know that just because I took it off a minute ago. <laughs> Whenever you take stuff apart, it's always a good idea to get your phone out and take photos, and then you can kind of see how it goes back together. Yeah, I'm trying to get all my projects done by the end of the year. Okay. So, and I figure since I'm doing projects, might as well share them with you guys. All right, just for fun, I'm going to pick up the amp. You know what? It's it's still heavy, but it's 14 pounds. It's 12 pounds lighter. 12 pounds lighter. That's, That's a lot. It's still a heavy amp. I'm going to plug it back in. All right, so I've got another guitar. It's still a PV. The T60 actually sold well, right in the middle of making this video. But uh, there's a little bit in the neck position. sounding amp I like it it's versatile it's got a really lush reverb and it's 12 pounds lighter and that was the objective of this video was to make this 12 pounds lighter it worked <laughs> Thank you.
Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks Neil, a lot. Thank you for bringing this thing in. Yeah, I got more projects, so I, if I can bring it over, I'll bring it over. Oh, and we had it in the low gain.